on a normal bicycle you will go that way because it's straighter you don't have to drop into crazy stuff but with this bike I'll just drop here because if I have to come up I got the battery for it so let's see where this goes those cacti got to be very careful with those oh those are some nasty crazy things man I think I'm going the wrong way on this Velvet Canyon trail. I think I was supposed to go the other way around, not this way. A little bit of a throttle, went over those rocks. The only thing that it catches me off sometimes by mistake is syncing up my pedals with the, uh, with the bike. So hitting, hitting the rocks, that's the only thing that really still catches me on. But yeah, if you want to have a little adventure, look how nice it is. Power assist still number one, first gear here. So, once I'm going to change the front sprocket, which I already ordered, and this will get better because I'll have more torque. I need more torque at the bottom instead of uh, more torque on the top gear. Because uh, I only do uh, technical forest trails, I don't go on the street, right? So I'm getting 20% torque on the rear, on the, on the rear sprocket which is going to be better for sure and then I'll be able to um, just run better sprockets later on if I have to you know yes yeah, so I could run better sprockets later on if I want to there was all throttle over there on those rocks I couldn't sync them up with the with the pedal so I just pulled the throttle and and it just got me over stuff look Throttle. Oh, I almost stalled. <laughs> I almost stalled an electric motor. I actually did. So how you stall an electric motor? Basically you are twisting the throttle and just doesn't have enough oomph to go over stuff. One horsepower. So it, it, it holds you. It doesn't let you roll back, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't really bite. You know, it's, it just doesn't, it can push you over stuff. So, uh, it's way better than nothing, that's for sure. But yeah, about like the Surons at seven or eight horsepower, that's where the that's where the crazy stuff is. But Surons are expensive, like three times more expensive than this one. And they're not bicycles. They are categorized as uh, motorcycles, I think. So I don't think you'll be able to get away with uh, I don't think you'll be able to get away with uh, it in the in the bushes. Uh, another thing is, this bike doesn't like rocky stuff. I know bike like rocky stuff. No, not not even a dirt bike. I like rocky stuff. But if you have a rear suspension on this rocky stuff, it's nicer. You know. So it's definitely nicer on the rocky stuff if you have rear suspension. But. Uh, this is also because this bike is so fast because on a normal bike you'll be pedaling at this speed basically over the rocks up the hill so it doesn't matter how much suspension you have this way is good it's no problem but 11 miles an hour 12 then the rock starts to be very bouncy so if you can afford a hub motor bike or a mid drive that has full suspension then you're gonna do very well but you're gonna cough up a lot of money. So, oi, cactus, oh, I'm so afraid of them. What I discovered, if you only use it on throttle only, uh, you have to keep your knees very soft, like a uh, bent. And then, and then it climbs like stuff, like you gotta help it, you know? And then help it from your knees to get over the rock and then just push the knees on top of the rock. So you're up. You can't blip the throttle like on a dirt bike and get extra power, you know, so. And obviously you could always pedal. See, this is too much. This is, uh, this, this rocks over here are too much. But you don't have to get off of it. You just twist the throttle and you just get one foot off and look, it goes. And it was too much because of that cactus and because of this cactus, you know, so that's why I mean too much. Like, I don't feel comfortable. You know, you hear the pedals, I just did over there. 
and then it throws you off in the cactus and then you're you're gonna be in a whole lot of pain but yeah see like right now on throttle only and look I'm gonna go over this stuff Up. so pedals my disc actually hit that rock oh. man the cactus are getting a lot more here a lot more yeah, this is definitely an adventure man definitely an adventure I don't know where I'm gonna end up see pedals again big as rocks over here I'm a lot more comfortable I hit it with a pedal again of course I'm a lot more comfortable on this one to ride it solo than the dirt bike I don't know why just because I can't really go that far because I could go really really far on this one I could go 15 miles you know before I have to turn back so I don't know why but I, I feel like I, I can't really crash as bad as a dirt bike for some strange reason and I wonder if that's a false sense of security or it's because it's so much lighter you could pick it up that's the worst cactus in the desert so the fact that I have like a less power and it cannot get away from me you know I could only go so fast you know like stuff like that I don't know if I'm ever gonna have a different kind of a bike again I think I'm sold on fat tires yesterday uh, I was here and I got like a cactus, one of those cactuses, I ran it over and I got like 17 spikes in my tire and two went through the tube I'm travel only still yeah, two went through the tube where is the hell the trail? no oh. so two went through the tube and uh, I didn't uh, I, I didn't get lower than 4 psi I didn't even have a pump with me or anything so I didn't get lower than 4 psi I went home with no problem I actually felt really really grippy see that rock was throttle only that's one of the, the huge advantages of this, this tires is that they're just so freaking grippy it's getting really gnarly like uh, like really gnarly like old people won't come over here gnarly Oh, it's nice and smooth over here. <laughs> here is perfect. Oh yeah, here is perfect, except the cactus. Okay, so that's the end of my vlog, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.